In this video, we are going to take a look at the diagnostic ability of tendon palpation for patellar tendinopathy. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Patellar tendinopathy is one entity of anterior knee pain syndromes and is a frequently encountered clinical picture in those who do jumping sports such as volleyball, basketball or track and field running, for example. Jill Cook et al. in 2001 evaluated the validity of tendon palpation in the diagnosis of the condition and reported a sensitivity of 68% and a low specificity of 9% when comparing to visible tendinopathic lesions on ultrasound. Mafoli et al. evaluated the same test in 2017 and found a markedly higher sensitivity of 98% and specificity of 94%. However, the definition of a positive finding on ultrasound was different and setting for patient recruitment differed as well. So, despite the high numbers, the clinical value as a standalone test remains moderate. To conduct the test, the patient lies in supine and the patellar tendon is palpated gently at the attachment site of the patellar tendon over the inferior pole of the patella and along its whole length from proximal to distal. The patient is asked about tenderness on palpation, which indicates a positive test. I can highly recommend our blog post on the seven tendon truths, which we have linked in the description down below for you to check out. If you want to check out the Royal London Hospital test for patellar tendinopathy, we have covered in another video, just click on the video to my left. I thank you very much for watching and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Check any and all links in the description down below for more of our content and our products. And as always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.